nine video. We're gonna do um the part two, and then we're gonna watch another video, and do a part three. Wait, what? I I don't know what he said. He definitely did not say that. <laughs> uh, he definitely did not say that. But we're watching Ryan, and then we're gonna go to somebody an OG I used to watch. I ain't gonna lie. That's all I'm saying. So we'll watch it right after this. That's all I'm saying. And then we'll go back to Ryan. And then we'll see what the time's looking like. Maybe hop on for it. Because I'm going to throw some fort on the channel. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. See my boy Ryan. This is part two. He turning a penny into a house. We're doing this. And B did drop a 50 piece. We can take a look at that later. But Ryan, it's all Ryan time right now. So... Let's pay some respects to Ryan and look at part two. Every time someone do hit that follow button, five push up. All right. So. This is a penny, and I'm turning. We gotta catch up. Um. Into this house in one week. I'm pretty sure this is what. Probably won't be that house. Yesterday I traded my penny for a penny. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then a pack of Quick recap, just for anybody, you know. Then some gas station earbuds. Then a vintage Polaroid. We love you, Judy. And then these massive commercial grade speakers. Now it's day two, and I have no idea what I'm gonna do next or how we're gonna get that house, but we have no choice. So I listed the speakers online last night. No one has messaged me about them yet. Probably because it's still morning and no one at 9 a.m. is like, Honey, you know what we need? Two speakers that are each roughly the size of a small All right. elephant. So, sorry, I was on the phone. But he's at 125 right now. That's that's a great start, actually. Because he has speakers. Hey, would y'all want to trade anything for these speakers? Five bucks. Ah, five. Why would, would you even say that out your mouth? Five bucks. Hey, do y'all need speakers for anything? Sure. Okay, all right. I was starting to regret trading for these speakers. I'm barely strong enough to carry them, but my hopes were raised when a man with a backwards cap and goatee put a price tag on them. How much? Yeah. Yeah. Sound like that. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dollars? Yeah. What? Yeah. Loud though. I'll tell you that much. The conversation died immediately after that, and then we ran into. Ah, oh, Ryan, you had fifteen hundred right Actually, there. Actually, who we traded the tiny blue dinosaur. Look what Dan has turned into. Oh my god. We have two speakers. How? <laughs> Crazy, I don't know. It was clear that my old tactics on the street weren't working. So I went to the one place in the world where audio freaks would come to me. Audio freaks. The audio store. Facts. There's no traffic for two and a half hours. So I went to the one place in the world where there's tons of traffic. Traffic. Anybody want to make a trade? Two 15 inch big boy speakers. Big boy. Big boy, speakers. big boy. Speakers? Why do you say big boy like He's that? He's laughing at me. Anybody? It was obvious I wasn't making a trade. I was making a fool of myself. I was you just see a guy walking around with two big old speakers um, on the street next to a Walgreens. Like, yeah, you know, it's got to be that guy, Ryan. I was pouting at the gas station when I saw a marketplace ad that would change everything. I give him so credit for this. Suzuki motorcycle for sale or trade. After doing some research, I found out sale that or this trade. bike is owned by a man. A man of music. A man that does live EDM shows here in Austin. A man this world... ED who? ED, e EDM. Oh, okay. Scared me for a second. We'll never forget. A man named... Freddy. Freddy? Who the heck's Freddy? Oh, never mind. So why are you trading this thing? Um, I pretty much got it in a bad deal. My understanding is that Freddy wants to get rid of this bike because it takes up space and has too many problems. Sounds a lot like me. Okay. But first, I need to test this thing. You mind if I just sit on it? Just gonna sit on it right there. Wow, I feel so. <laughs> Don't you need, P? Don't you need your motorcycle license to get on this thing? I like to drive it at least. I'm pretty sure. So how? Unless you put it in the back of his van. I don't know. Holy smokes, Freddy. That's awesome. Yeesh. The feeling I got on that motorcycle was like a Jesus. 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 The feeling I got on that motorcycle was all the confirmation I needed to make the trade off. Hey. These are huge, huh? Yeah, they don't look that big in the pictures. That's what she said. <laughs> the, the minivan. I don't know. Wow. L joke. After further inspection of the speakers, Freddy accepted our offer. All right, Freddy. Got a deal? 
This handshake means the world to me. All of the doubt, all of so the that motorcycle, the motorcycle is worth 800 bucks. All of the mockery, I can sell that motorcycle for a lot more. That's all I'm saying. Man's hand. And while I'm anxiously thinking about how sweaty my palms are, there's one more thing on my mind. Uh, do you think we'll be able to haul it with that minivan? Yeah, right. I mean, kind of have no choice. Freddie was right. Facts. Also, I just noticed that guy watching us. Yeah. So he's probably wondering how I'm going to tow What a thing. creep. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this motorcycle. But one thing is certain. I think we just made a great trade. I spent the entire night of day two on the internet and probably sent as many desperate emails as the first time I was trying to get a hold of Dr. Phil's agent. That's yeah, right. Dr. I'm Phil's agent. I'm trying to get Dr. Phil to adopt me as his legal grandson because I've never had a grandpa, okay? And I'm allowed to do that. But only once we pass him in YouTube subscribers, which is kind of dumb, but his agent agreed to it. So please subscribe. It's true. Yeah, I'll sub up to Ryan. Let him try to get that uh, combo with uh, Grandpa Phil. Day three. I was on my phone pretty much all night looking for trades. I haven't really slept. Uh, I've probably messaged uh, maybe a thousand people about our motorcycle. Yeah. I also sent this video to probably over a thousand people, which just made people confused and angry. Who's and Freddy? No, you're an idiot. <laughs> but most interesting of all... Why people mean to Ryan? Ryan the most wholesome dude. Douglas. Douglas wants to trade his 2002 Toyota Tundra. And his old two... motorcycle, listen to this. Hey buddy, this is the deal. Uh, how much do you think I'm gonna spend to fix the bike? Let me know right now, please. That video is not today, right? That video is maybe how long? A couple months ago. So right now the bike is working, it's starting, or it's not starting at all. It's that starting. That's when I made a rookie mistake. Hey, hey <laughs> Ryan. God, come on, man. It's just a voice message. Come on, you got it. I tried to be cool and send a voice memo like Douglas and embarrass myself. But Douglas gave me a chance at redemption, and now we're meeting up to look at each other's vehicles. I'm not going to lie, this truck was awesome. It might be old, but it has four wheels and runs. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's me on there. That's when I found out that the truck wasn't Douglas's. It was his cousin Jimmy's. Jimmy. In that moment, I panicked and did what I always do when I'm nervous. Make awful jokes. Where's your jacket? <laughs> A lot of... <laughs> it's because his jacket is camouflaged. Anyways, they asked... No, nah, that's actually... Yeah, 300,000 miles is crazy. But, nah, that joke... C come on, come on. He said, where's your jacket? <laughs> Ryan, bro, come on, man. Me to turn on the motorcycle, and I was happy to oblige. This always feels fun. Mm. Mm. All right, let me try it. This is where things get crazy. Uh -oh. Jimmy tried out the bike, then he started consulting with someone important on the phone. And meanwhile, Douglas and I became honestly best friends. Best friends. Yeah. Why you guys need to talk to us? So, uh, I'm actually I'm trying to turn a penny into a house in one week for a woman named Hannah, one of my subscribers who's uh, again. I, I'm one of your subscribers, Ryan. Come on, help your brother out right here. The small business owner in Austin, where I live. This was yesterday, and if come you on, man. The last episode, you know what's going on. But basically, Hannah thinks her e-commerce store is being supercharged by a shop. Facts, Marco too. Just my friend I know RCF is too. E help us out. Um, so how long have you been working at Shopify? Preston does not work for our sponsor, Shopify. And now I'm getting nervous because Come on, man. a really long time to decide if he wants this bike. On day two, while Hannah was taking product images for her website, I was getting honked at by soccer moms. And now on day three, our hard work... Honked at by soccer time, moms. Okay, buddy. Hannah stays distracted. The dashboard is super cool. I can see if I have any returning customers and how many total sales I've made. And Meanwhile, Douglas and I were having a heart-to-heart. -heart. Man, I hope you can't to get that house, man. Huh? Yeah. And try. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but craziest things have been done. Well, nothing impossible. Too. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Like, believe in yourself. Yeah. Straight facts. This words meant the world to me. They speak you straight from the heart too. That thing's impossible. And so did seeing Hannah actually make her first few sales. Um, not much. I just made three sales on Shopify. That's lit. <laughs> has been I'm celebrating. Not sure how much longer we can keep Hannah from finding out about what I'm doing. But Douglas and Jimmy said we need to test drive the truck before they would trade it. So naturally, I bought Douglas ice cream. Is that water burger? All right. He will get it. All right. Thanks, Douglas. You're welcome, buddy. How's that shake? It's very well. It's 
Tastes, tastes very good. This is the part where you cut it to the next clip, but you keep it off. He said, "Oh yeah." Team Douglas accepted our trade offer. For Two thousand. This just feels unreal. I can take you home. Okay. On the way to Douglas's, I'm just thinking. <laughs> three days ago, all I had was a penny and potentially a rash. Now I have a truck. Potentially and a, a rash. And still, definitely, actually, a rash for sure. You got this, Ryan. <laughs> And I think Shout out to Douglas's family. As a new member of Douglas's family, there's still a lot of work to do. There is, but this truck is epic. And as I stumble into this hotel for the third time, I couldn't help but hear Douglas's words ringing in my ear. Let me know, buddy. No, not not those. Oh, oh, not really with so with less than 100 hours remaining, I'm gonna do everything I can to get that house. This is they, Ryan killing it, man. He did a lot in this episode. I ain't gonna lie. He did a lot. That's what's up. Oh my god, Bonnie. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Yeah,